We paused last time here at the village of the Albanorix, and I thought before we... Ah, oh, dang it. We need literally one more rune. We paused here last time at the village of the Albanorix, and I thought before we get moving too far, let us spend a point. Oh, where are we going to go? I guess we just go dex for now, because we're, we're sort of doing a dex build thing. And I think we probably have enough endurance and enough FP for now that, um... Yeah, I guess dex is fine. I don't know. I'm kind of at the point where I'm like, well, I don't know. I mean, there there's a part of me that really, truly, honestly kind of wants to just try a different build. But uh, at the same time, I really don't want to. <laughs> We've got a different build going on enough as is by way of... Oh, hi. How you doing? Um, my other character that I play with, my friends, so... Don't really need to go crazy now. Hi, how you guys doing? Not sure if any of you are going to cast spells, but... I just want to make sure. That guy back there, I am intentionally leaving. I have zero interest in fighting him. I think we did that last time around, so there's no real reason to pursue this particular avenue. Uh, that was from a thing, right? That was a thing? That was a thing. Okay. Just making sure I remember right. This is a summoning sign, and it looks like it's Nefeli, who who kind of has... Uh, yeah, see, it is. She has a grudge against whoever, well, wrecked this place, and it looks like it's that dude down there. So I'm totally fine with calling someone in when it's a grudge. Like, if she was just like, you know, I don't know, some random character we could call in right here, I don't know that I would care as much. But when there's a grudge and a big score to be settled, I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, let's see if we can... I don't know what we're going to do here. Um, oops, I'm using a fire arrow. Eh, that's fine. That worked okay. I mean, maybe... Here, how about you? Can can we get you? Hi. Do you want to come up and, and say hi? Maybe not. All right, let's try one more time with this one. Okay, this guy's sort of coming up here. I guess they're going to come play. That's fine. Oh, man, look at her. She's got some crazy spells. Spells. Uh, abilities and things going on. That's cool. I mean, save it for the big guy. Don't. Or use it gratuitously on the dog. I don't, you know, whatever. You do you. Uh, hey, you. This guy. How do you feel about fire? Oh, you dodge it. Got it. Oh, and then you use fire. So you probably don't mind all that much in the grand scheme, do you? Ow. Holy crap, my health. I was not paying attention to how big that swing was. There, let me help. Oh, there's a there's another dog. How you doing, dog? Excellent. Uh, omen killer, I think is what that guy's name was. He has been omen killed. The crucible, not talisman. Let's just take a look and see if there's anything else over here before we go diving into inventory. Uh, we can technically drop down right there, but I don't think that's going to get us anywhere good. Uh, where are we? We're over the swamp area. Okay. I don't think we can get back if we go out there, so I'm going to say that's probably not intended to be an exit path. I mean, again, we can jump out over here, I think, but I don't, I don't think we really get anywhere if we do that, so probably should not would be my guess. I think there's at least something to pick up over here, aside from the herba. I was thinking like there's a, a rune or something lying around. I think we can drop down to there. I mean, we can torrent it up right here and get back. Oh yeah, see there's a purple item here. A rune arc, excellent, because I'm going through these because I'm terrible at this game. Excellent, I like that. Uh, I feel like we've pretty much done everything we need to do over here, I think. I mean, we can just kind of check up here to make sure. I don't really see anything down there. I don't, I don't think anyway. So I'm going to say I'm, I'm good with this. If I missed something, uh, you'll, you'll tell me in the comments. And that's fine. I appreciate that. Thank you. I pulled back to the Laskyar Ruins, which is kind of in the middle of 
the lake area here at the beginning at least. And I thought we should probably go wander around this area some more because we do have some of it uncovered, uh, but by no means all of it. And there are definitely going to be things around here. Now we've been over here. I know we've been over here. I, I won't accept this as an answer. So I'm ignoring that guy because it was not worth my time. Not in the slightest. I remember fighting that guy. I did not like him. We're just going to kind of wander around here. Yeah, it is annoying that this portion of the map, we were definitely out here and filling in some of this stuff. Well, maybe not filling it in, but we were out here. So let's head to the next map piece. That to me makes the most sense right now. So it's not that far away. We can see it's just ahead. And it looks like there's something on the cliff right there. We got a little bit of a... I don't know, a building or something right here in the middle of the water. We'll check that out since it's along the way. There's a big lobster crayfish sort of thing over there. Prawn shrimp, I don't know. Gigantic prawn shrimp thing. Ah, smithing stone three. Excellent. Hey, I want that. Das ist gut. Jawohl. Very pleased to see that. So here is our next map piece right here. And we'll go ahead and grab this. And then we are going to... I think we'll just go ahead and sit at this, this grace right here. That's fine. So this is going to uncover another big chunk of the map for us, which uh, that'll be good. Oh, and I keep forgetting, uh, we need to look at whatever that was. The Crucible Knot Talisman reduces damage and impact of headshots. A talisman fashioned from a bony knot that embodies the aspects of various creatures, said to have grown on the human body long ago. A vestige of the crucible of primordial life. Born partially of devolution, it was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times, but is now increasingly disdained as an impurity as civilization has advanced. Hmm, okay. So we just ran past, uh, I guess, was it this thing right here? That's where we just found some stones. So that was good. I would, I will gladly take any and all stones we can find. There's going to be another one of those things over here and over here. And we've got some land masses about. And we have the finger reader crone is right here. I mean, maybe we should go pay her a visit, but we've got a lot of stuff around here. There's... Oh boy, we still have all of this stuff up here too. I mean, we know that, or we think at least, that there's a uh, a place to go over here that had to do with the Black Knight or uh, Black Knife, the Knight of Black Knives. And then we've got some other stuff over here. That's the village of the Albanorix, and there's going to be another map piece over here somewhere, but I don't think we got close enough to it to see it. So we'll get that a little later on. I think for now, maybe what I'd like to do is we'll take that marker off and we'll just kind of make a, a little tour here of... Actually, I do want to go there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a bunch of markers and we're going to kind of... Ah, oh crap. We can only have five at a time. Okay. Well, um... Well, that'll... That'll be fine. We'll do... Four, three, five, two, one. Say that about 12 times fast. Four, three, five, two, one. All right, that means we got to go back to Lobster Central or whatever these guys are. I I don't know. Have we fought one of these yet? I'll be honest. I have no interest. They're not worth it. It's funny. I was uh, There's a post recently. Some stats came out about the most killed creatures in the game. And uh, on Reddit, people were pontificating on the least killed in the game. Lobsters, very high on that list, because they're just not worth it. I mean, I don't know. I guess you'll just have to trust me on that one if you've never seen them and don't really know what I'm talking about. But they just, they don't really give you much. They're not worth a lot of experience. They don't really drop anything useful. There's one that does drop something useful, I think, but... Yeah, I don't know. They're just a pain in the butt. I'm not a big fan of them. Okay, so we're just kind of covering some area here and just 
seeing if there's anything on these land masses. Oh, hello. How you doing? Probably should have gone after the guy with the big, the big thing over here. This guy. That would have been the smarter move to have. Okay, that's fine. These guys actually are the most killed enemy in the game, believe it or not. Not that specific one right there, but these guys, the Albinorix. Which I found kind of fascinating in a way. Like, I would not have expected that, but it's it's the case. Oh, hi, Dragonfly. How you doing? I will gladly take your head, because I think we need more of them. So we got a curved club from someone. We got a, a lily there. And what we have here, the Dexterity Knot Crystal Tear. Now, I'm very interested in that. Dexterity Knot Crystal Cure. Crystal Cure? A crystal tear formed slowly over the ages where the tree's bounty falls to the ground can be mixed in the flask of wondrous physic. The resulting concoction temporarily boosts one's dexterity. That makes me wonder if... Which is the best way to go for increasing damage? Is the, the straight-up damage one better? Or would boosting dexterity be better? That probably requires some experimentation, but I'm going to take a just a shot in the dark and say that boosting damage straight up is going to be better than boosting dex. That's just my guess. So we got a, a little candelabra over here, which means we're going to have a ghost friend to follow. It requires us to get, to get off the, uh, the horse here. Um, hello? I guess we've already done this one? It's probably gonna take us to this cave here, if I remember right. Okay, well. If we can't interact with it, then we've already done the cave. The ghost does not need to appear to guide us to a cave we have already run through. So here, we'll go uh, We'll go to number two first, since we're right there. I do see an arterial leaf. Grab that. We do not want anything to do with that guy, so we'll leave him alone. And then, since some of these are pretty nearby too, we can grab these. It is night, so these guys are very angry. Something to watch out for. Not that I seem to be minding. Okay. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where the big guy was. I mean, these guys are getting... Uh, the crap kicked out of him a little bit. What are you doing? Ow. Speaking of getting the crap kicked out of him. Oh, I gotta do it. Oh. A little too slow. I was gonna go for the critical, but that's fine. Glass shard. It was all a trap. It was all a trap. Yeah. Jerks. It's kind of interesting. That is a thing that you can do on multiplayer. Is you can leave a glass shard so that it looks like there's an item on the ground. And use it as a means to uh, sucker in someone who maybe doesn't know the game as well as you do. And then have a little uh, PvP with them. Or whatever you want to do, I guess. Whatever. Well, let me judge and decide. Uh, I don't really want to target that guy. Sorry. I'm, I'm okay with leaving the turtles. We don't need to go turtle bashing. That is that is not something that I need to do. It doesn't look like there's anything over here aside from mushrooms and whatever other... Oh, there's a blood rose. I'll take that. Okay, so that's number one. So that just leaves number five over here. So far, we haven't really found anything interesting since we are out here. In terms of, uh, you know, I guess a couple of items, but... Yeah, nothing all that interesting so far. Do you have a fire up here? Oh, look who that is. We know you. Oh, well. It, it's been a long while. It's me. Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top-notch. Patches Emporium. Now open in Rhea Lucaria. <laughs> it sounds like a commercial. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one. 
but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Okay. I don't think we've seen You're her, though. You're your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this. A surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right. If you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> I mean Oh yeah. Great stuff. There's a survivor and I I'm not sure I trust him, but um I'm kind of keen to try just just to see. Okay, I don't think we've tried these. I think we have some of them. But I don't think we've tried them. Uh, let's see, you do have a cookbook that allows to make script stone grace mimic and gold pickled foul foot, so that's a yes just based on the foul foot. Great arrows. Uh, we're not using a great bow. I kind of would like to play with one just to see. He still has Margit's shackle, but we basically wrecked Margit, so that was completely unnecessary. And then he sells glass shards and other things. So I want to see what we have in inventory. How many fan knives do we have? And I'm kind of curious how many you can stack at once, too. So we don't have any. Okay. Well, that would be why we haven't tried them. Well, here, let's uh, let's purchase... Oh, gosh. They're expensive, aren't they? We'll purchase 30 of them and see what happens. I'm thinking maybe you can have about 30 on a stack. Yeah, because Kukri's are 30, and I think throwing the throwing daggers are also 30. So this is an A scaling with strength and a C and arcane, and that's a B scaling and strength. So technically the Kukri is... Hmm. Oh, we can have 40 fan daggers. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm just... I'm kind of curious if... I don't know. I'm just, I'm very curious to see how these are going to work. It's ultimately what it comes down to. I also, like I said, I don't know that I trust him with his uh, story of the Iron Virgin. I mean, if I can, <laughs> if we can get there without a bunch of runes to lose, I'm kind of game to try just to see what happens. But, um, I don't know that I, Hatches is an interesting one. What, what can I say? So he did say there's a, girl nearby, Raya, or he didn't say nearby, but he said if you see her, and I don't remember where she is. Ah, crap, I was not. Okay. Um, this is not what I had in mind. I... Crap. Can we draw you over here, maybe? Here, what happens if I throw a kukri at you? I mean, I don't think you care. Oh, do we have any, um... Do we have any holy pots? Oh, we do, but... Okay, and we do have them. Let's use those guys right quick. Oh, yeah, you don't like holy pots, do you? Oh, shoot. Ow. Okay. I don't really want to fight on horseback, I don't think, so let's go ahead and cancel that. Ow! My face! My pretty, pretty face! Ow. Okay. Let's do that. I swear I know how to fight this guy, and we did it once before. And we were fine. Ow. I don't think this is the right weapon for him, for one. probably use a grease here or something. Oh, now you've now you've made the octopus angry. That is inconvenient for me. Okay. I mean, if you're going to give me like 
a second here to... Oh my gosh. I, I forgot how to fight this guy. I'm going to die right here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I forgot how to fight this guy. Or he's... Or this one is different. Oh, wow. I don't remember that attack. Okay, let's try this again. No. Oh, wow. You, you covered a lot of ground with that move. I don't suppose I can hit you from here. Oh, I think I hit the octopus. Uh, that was bad timing there. Very, very bad timing. Ow. You know what would have been a good idea? Oh, we can't summon him here. So never mind. I mean, it sounds like a good idea. I don't think I can take this guy with half of his health remaining. And only one one thing. Alright, let's try Grease again. Ah, oh, crap, out of Grease. Alright. Okay. Dodged that one that time. That's good. I'm trying to get a poise break on him. I think if we can do that, we'll be okay. Ow. All right, last one. Oh. All right, let's go get our runes here. And this should be right about where Deathbird comes in at. How you doing? Maybe another one if I can hit you. Nope. Oh, that uh, did hit him. Just didn't hit him in the face where we do max damage. Oh, I'll take that, though. That's fine. I mean, this is... This is some fair back and forth trading. Like, this is like super cheesy right there. <laughs> and I don't feel the slightest bit bad about that one. That was super cheesy. Red feathered branch sword. So that's going to be another one of these guys, right? It's not an actual thing. Raises attack power when HP is low. A talisman adorned with red feathers once used in ancient death rituals. The heart sings when one draws close to death, and a glorious end awaits those who cling so tenaciously to life. Okay, so the whole thing that I was trying to do was to get over to this spot uh, over here. So why don't we do that? Let's see if we can get over here. That was that was kind of the whole plan until hello. that guy got in the way. Hello. Oh, hello. Please. Over here. Um, maybe. Hello. You have a very pronounced lean. Are you okay? Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... He, too, is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. That won't be a problem. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. The thug should be resting, please. Okay, so an abandoned home down the way sounds like over here, right? We've got all this wreckage and stuff over here, or maybe, maybe over here? Hmm, I guess we haven't swung around over to this side, so let's go see what's over here. And I don't think we went to that one there. Oh goodness, I don't know, that could be a couple of different places. Um, let's try, let's try those out and see what we get. I'm okay with that. I mean, today we're mostly just kind of exploring and uh, seeing what's around, trying to fill in some of the map, because nothing else I have learned with this game that you definitely need to do a little exploring when you don't know 
where everything is. You don't know what to expect, etc. So, you know, in some respects, it feels kind of aimless to just be wandering around. This looks like maybe an abandoned home. And there is a grace right here, though. The boil prawn shack. Okay. Hello, sir. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Um. Give me the necklace. That necklace, what you're after, is it? Hmm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. Twelve runes. I'm in love with it or nothing. You're a shrewd one, chief. First, you hand me the runes, and don't try nothing neither. Okay. Um, so it looks like you are definitely cooking up some stuff over here. Uh, so we can purchase the necklace from him. Necklace stolen from Raya by the Blackguard features a relief of a dignified looking woman from a foreign country. It appears to hold great significance for Raya. Okay. I mean, I don't really want to buy it because that seems wrong, but okay. Mm. All right. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't go crying to me later. Okay. Oh, piss off. Oh. All right, then. Oh, okay. It's yours. If you can meet me price. I didn't mean I to be skipping be through. I to sell you some other bits, too. If you've got the runes. Oh, oh, we've got the runes. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well. Sod the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped. Is it? Anyway. She ain't all right, that one. Look, she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. Wow, you're a just a gem of a person, aren't you? Oh, we can buy some boiled prawn. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Boiled prawn meat, a prime specimen of plump and moist meat. True connoisseurs know how to keep from oversalting. Boosts physical damage negation for a certain duration. The meat actually looks to have come from a crayfish. Not that it matters. It's delicious all the same. Um... Sure, we'll buy three of them just for the giggles. I, I'd kind of like to try one. Someone with a taste for brawn or trust. We'd make good mates, I reckon. I'll be seeing you. It looked like we have a new talk Man, option with him. Sits. You must be hungry. So let's see what he has to say. Can he see it then? The guidance of grace. I mean, I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Hmm. I am curious why he, of all people, would get uh, called up to the big show, or whatever this is. Where is she? Uh, she was right over here, right? Well, let's go return... To Raya, if I can go the correct direction anyway, that is. I don't know, she was over here somewhere. I'm already lost. That's that's just what happens. Mostly east and a little south. Got it. It's that one right there. So we have her necklace already, which I'm kind of curious. That was a very short step. So I'm going to guess that something comes along after that. And this is just kind of the very first step to starting her quest line, whatever it may be. You know, something that has come to mind, too, just thinking about all of this, is there are a crap ton of different quests that appear to be in the game. I'm not used to this many in these games. The thug should be resting at an please. Here you go. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya. In the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor, I seek stalwart tarnished who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Volcano Manor Invitation. Brave tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. 
Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering earth tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff, at the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift. There's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you, a champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Well, thanks for all of that. The old at the base it was excavated. Okay. I have faith in. I do hope. So basically, we have an invitation. I want to look at that. I'm going to guess that's under key items here. I mean, one of the funny things is we have the Dectus Medallion left. We got that from Height Tower, like, about a bajillion years ago. Oh man, I forgot we have all these other things that we still haven't really turned in yet. Uh, maybe it's going to be under here? Here it is. Letter given by Raya as thanks for retrieving her necklace contains an invitation to Volcano Manor. Brave Tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau in the realm of the Erd Tree. Prove yourself by making this journey, and the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds like something that we're probably supposed to be doing. Let's uh, resume looking around this area and see if there's any more... I don't know, I, I guess we probably need to see if there's any more upgrade materials or if we're at the point where we can upgrade our weapon anymore. I, I kind of feel like that would be a, a good thing right now because my style of play in this game is to basically overpower everything with, well, massively overpowered weaponry because that just seems to be very effective for me. If I can come in and do very few hits compared to uh, your health, I stand a much better chance of survival, I think. Ooh, we got some lilies right here. Some Trina's lilies, gladly take those. I don't know if these crystal buds are worth taking. I think you use them for some sort of magic throwable, like a, some sort of glintstone magic throwable. Do we have a lobster right here? I don't think we've been over to this one. Are they asleep, I guess? I guess they're asleep. Smithing Stone 2. I would have hoped for Smithing Stone 3, but... Um, I mean, I'll gladly take it. Don't don't get me wrong here. We can use all of them that we can get, so that's fine. And then somewhere over here, I'm having a trouble seeing where we're going over here. Something is fighting over here, too. Where are we going over here? Is it around the corner? I guess it's around this corner. Oh, we do have a grace over here. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the grace while we're here. Hello, little turtle. Oh, no, that's a crab. Never mind. It's not a turtle. It's a crab. Here, we'll get our FP back. That seems like a good idea right now. I don't know if it really matters. So where are we? We don't have... I'm looking around this area to see if there's... A map icon. I'm not seeing one. There's a very kind of subtle icon you'll see when you, I guess, have gotten close enough to it. I'm not 100% sure how that works exactly. Okay, well, we've kind of, oh, I was going to say we've run around over here, but there is an item right here. Smithing stone too. Okay, so maybe we haven't been over here, although... I'm pretty sure we have, because we ended up at the Albanoric Village, but maybe we didn't cover all of the specific areas over here. That's right, I don't want to spend a bunch of time just wandering around in this area. It's just awful looking. Although, I will swing back around for the Poison Bloom, because at some point, Poison Grease 
I suspect will be a good thing that we'll want to be able to have whenever we need it. I do want to come through this area, though, just to see if there's anything right here. Doesn't look like it. I thought maybe it was going into, like, a canyon or something, but it didn't really, so... That's not quite what I was expecting. We should be going to another gazebo or whatever it is up here. At least I think that's what we saw. There's going to be something else up here too, probably. If I know this game. And yeah, there it is right there. There's our gazebo. We have it looks like a shoreline over there. Maybe we'll head up that way too. Oh, hello. Those big floating things. I don't like those. Except I do like the rooms you get out of them. So here's gazebo. Smithing Stone 2. Excellent. We will take that gladly. Uh, I don't think we've been over to this island right here, right? So let's kind of circle back. I see a bunch of Albanorix. Wow, there are a lot of them around just generally. Uh, this does look like there are some ruins up here. This is This is kind of promising. Oh yeah, this looks like it was a church or something. And there's, like, some sort of gross growth. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I was going to say I hear someone, but, um... That's, um... That's Vare. Ah, there you are. You've had your audience. With the two fingers at the round table hold. What was your impression? Um, very weird. Aha. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted. Their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Um, I don't know if I should have said that, but I guess we're committed. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. Um, okay. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. I mean, this guy seems a little off his rocker. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. Be sure to try. I'm quite... I mean, in fairness, they are kind of... Oh, this is weird. Hooking me up with stuff, so... Uh, I can't remember. I know the item he gave us is specific for multiplayer, and uh, it's just not going to work right now. But I kind of wanted to see... Yeah, that's for invading. Yeah. I mean, we literally can't invade right now because I'm playing with mods, so we are offline. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 12. Let's see what that gives us. I am always, always interested in that. Cursed Blood Pot. Oh, hi. How you doing? I don't even want to give you a chance to move. Ow. All right, we cannot get hit because we're going to be hemorrhaged here. Okay. I mean, this guy, um... Oh, don't do that. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, yeah, whatever you were doing, stop that. Just stop that. I don't know who or what that guy was, but um, he was definitely doing some blood buildup. So this is, I guess, a pretty good place to come if you need some blood roses, at least a few of them. Not like we're getting tons and tons of them, but uh, there are 
definitely a few about. Oh, hi, guys. How you doing out there? You guys having a good night? Um, not really sure what else is going on around here, but this, this place is kind of weird to me. So I guess we can just uh, maybe wander around a little bit just to see if there's anything else over here. Don't mind me. I'm just crashing your party. Oh, yeah. We'll take more of these guys. We went through a, a few of them making holy pots for the death bird. That was a good time. That was really, really good time. It wasn't. It's great. So I guess that's this place. I don't really see anything else over here. Let's take a look at the map just to see what else we have going on in this area. Because I know we saw a shore to the southwest. We've got... Um, lots of stuff that direction. I do see one of these guys over here. You look like you are not uh, a potion one. So let's grab that Blood Flame Blade. That sounds delightful to me. I'm okay with that. I mean, we're not really using any incantations or anything, so it doesn't necessarily do us a whole lot of good to be picking these up. I mean, we we can work on the stats so that we can do that, of course, but that just hasn't really been something that I wanted to do this playthrough. So did we make it to that one over there? We did not. Let's go ahead and grab that, that last uh, thing over here, whatever these are called. I forgot the word. I want to say pagoda, and that's not the right word. Gazebo. A gazebo, gazebo, gazebo. Have we been over here? I guess we have, because they usually have stones in them, so I just didn't clear the marker, apparently. Okay, there it goes. Now it's cleared. There's a, a guy over there. You can just see him in the water from here. Let's, let's go see what he has to say real quick. I'll try not to get wrecked. Hello. Ah, the poor fellow, gone perfectly mad. Love, revenge, the frenzied flame melts it all away. There appear to be a bunch of bodies on the shore right here. So... Yeah, these are these are not alive, whatever these are. Well, we do have a, a location over here though. I mean we can grab the grace. Nothing else, that makes good sense. Um Okay. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? Don't heal. That's rude. You don't see me healing. Ah, crap. I'm not going to be able to get to him before he casts the spell. I mean, this is working pretty well. Oh. Bye-bye, Edgar the Revenger. Who was that guy? Um, he dropped a bunch of crap, though. Got a Shabriri Grape, a Banished Knight's Halberd, plus eight. Raw meat dumpling and raw meat dumpling. So he's been fighting the, the pots, the jars, the living jars. That's what they're called. I had to think about that. Oh, this is... Oh. Or not. Okay, never mind that. I was thinking jars. Not not what I was thinking. Not what I was thinking at all. Let's uh, Let's look at that. That halberd he dropped, maybe that'll give us an idea of who who that is. Banished Knight's Halberd, a finely crafted halberd intricate, intricately engraved with an ancient motif. Given to knights who, whether by misfortune or misdeed, were forced to abandon their homes. Most of these knights were sent to the fringes where they were forced to start anew with only despair for company. I mean, that sounds kind of sad. Like, very kind of sad. <laughs> um... Wow. So I guess what we'll do is we will leave this right here. I feel like we've uh, uncovered a lot today on the map, although 
I still would like to find the last map piece. Uh, I mean, technically, I think I know where it is, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. We have a lot that we can still do. We might end up going over here next time around just to just to mix it up a little bit, but we definitely need to see if we have enough to upgrade our items because we do have some stones. I just I don't know which ones we need. Anyway, we'll pick up on the next one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.